Weebly Studio. Hello and welcome to my very first voiceover video brought to you by me. And don't mind my acne scarred forehead, I was just sketching up what I was going to make. This was the beginning of a new project and I wanted to make this art shaped vase that I saw going around Pinterest. And yeah, I thought why not give it a shot. So here I was giving it a shot. I had to coil out this big chunk of clay and usually when you coil out clay they have uh, air bubbles on the end so you just slice the ends but this I needed all of that clay so I was just basically filling up this gap that was forming I w as I was coiling and yeah I'm just smoothing out some cracks making it baby smooth and just repeating it over and over again I think you might be able to get a better look at the sides later but yeah, I had to also keep this coil very wet because the AC was just powered that day. There was so much air drying out my clay. See the ends? Yeah, it passed. <laughs> anyway, so now I am arching this coil. And when you arch your coil, you want to make sure it's super wet or you are going to have a ton of cracks. And you won't be able to use it. Yeah, the whole time I was making this, I have no idea why, but my teacher, she just thought it was hilarious. The shape, she said. Anyways, new week, and we were slicing the ends off because we were still pretty worried that there were going to be a lot of air bubbles. More like my teacher was worried, so we were cutting it, uh, slicing off the ends. And here I was sketching how I was going to cut this in half because I was going to try to try a new technique called digging up. And here, with the help of my teacher, I was slicing it in half. And yeah, I have to dig up the excess clay inside so that water could fill in um, inside the arch. And here I am digging up the clay. This was actually the highlight of the whole process of making this face. It was so much fun, super therapeutic. I literally felt like all this like cleansing was happening inside of me and I got really carried away. There were some spots where I dug out too much clay. That was a little worrying because it got a little too thin, but that's fine. Um, yeah, and new week and just more digging up but a little less ruthless like you can see here because yeah I almost ruined it and almost made a hole um, spoiler alert it did end up having cracks and I couldn't use it as a face it's it's just sitting on my table now but anyways I worked really hard a new week and surprisingly I lost the footage of how I stuck each half together so here you see it already stuck together uh, yeah and I was just sketching out. Do you see that slant on the end? Yeah, I was sketching out how I was going to slice so that I can get rid of the slant on the end and therefore level this arch perfectly on the table. So yeah, I'm trying it and I quilt, uh, I rolled out a slab and I cut a circle to attach to match the height and level the overall arch. And this is a new week and here I am sticking it together i honestly thought this would be done in three weeks but it took me so much longer than i thought it would and i don't know if you can tell you can probably tell later but i was not very interested in the process of finishing this pot later on i was just like patience is key and that's what kept me going so i'm just smoothing out some cracks before my first bake and look at me tired and yeah finally first bake and i'm glazing it my signature glossy white uh i just stick to glossy white because by the time i'm glazing i'm usually just so exhausted and i have no idea what color i want to glaze it so yeah and there it is super nice and pretty yeah, well, uh, thank you so There's much for watching, and I hope you enjoy this video. Thumbs up, notifications, comments, Not subscribe, so all that jazz. And yeah, I'll get so back to get you. Bye and adios.